hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Megan with her courage to plan today we're going to complete our paycheck budget number two for the month of June now if you missed our paycheck budget number one for the month of June I'll link that up above so that you can go back and check it out if you so desire and of course what I am using as far as our paycheck budgets is our new 12 month paycheck to paycheck budget journal I do have it in my Etsy shop if you want to take a look at that and you also get a bonus with your journal I give you bill due stickers and I give you payday stickers so if you want to check that out make sure you head on over to my Etsy shop now if you do like that pop of color and you want to just spruce up your planner for the particular month I do have the June all the way through October planner sets in my Etsy shop as well if you want to check that out all right so let's go ahead and get right into this video so we are looking at paycheck number two and paycheck number two is from June the 19th through June the 30th okay and now for hubs income direct deposit into this account we are planning $900 and then for me we are planning $700 so that is a total of $1,600 that we are planning for paycheck number two. And as far as our giving, our tithe and offering, and we are planning $315. And this is off of our gross income. Our expenses, we have our car insurance, which is at $248.47. We have Hulu at $11.99. And generally I speed the video along, but I'm not gonna do that today. All right, and AT&T, we got that to take care of, and that comes in at $71.50. And then our HELOC is at $125. And then our life insurance at $62.64. Lawn service is at $100 and I did explain that um, when I did our budget pre-plan I planned for $150 but um, the long guy came the end of May so when I looked at the calendar we should only get two cuts for the month of June so I'm only gonna plan for the two cuts which is the $100 all right and so for groceries for this paycheck, it's at $5.25. And this, of course, as I explained in our June monthly budget, our grocery budget has increased to accommodate for the increase in groceries, guys. And also uh, me going back to work um, this month. So I do pack my lunch uh, Monday through Friday. So of course I will be getting extra food to you know baby to accommodate for that and then also with this being a extra paycheck for hubs i do take out extra for groceries when i know there's an extra um, paycheck and then for gas we are going to allocate 55 dollars and then we should have enough for a buffer now our buffer for the total uh, month of june should not exceed the 103.12 that's on our monthly budget so we've done a little bit from our paycheck budget number one so we should have enough to take care of the remainder for our paycheck budget number two and guys i left off the house supply so let me erase this and just go ahead and make sure that i add house supplies i know that looks kind of funky there so thank god for a erasable pen so house supplies, we were supposed to make sure that we account for $50 in house supplies. And then the buffer. All right, so I've got to recalculate this because I left off the house supplies, guys. So let me recalculate this real quick. Whoa. So our expenditures are actually $12.49.60 without the buffer. 
so now we can go ahead and crunch these numbers properly. So 1600 minus 315, and then minus, we'll say 1249.60 for now. Minus 1249.60. So that does leave us with 3540. So we can add that as the buffer. So I'm gonna put that here. Oh, it's a lot of calculations going on. It's a lot going on in the brain. All right, guys. So, 1249.60 plus 35.40. So, our total plan expenses come to 12.85. And then I can put this here, 12.85. And then we should have zero remaining. So, 1600 minus 315 and then minus 12.85. Yep, that gives us a zero base budget, which is awesome. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put my note up here. It is Father's Day. And I'm hoping you all have an enjoyable Father's Day. And yeah, we are focusing on the groceries. So let me make sure I put on here, grocery budget. And looks like pretty much everything is the same. Um, you see, like I said, the groceries, we've accounted for an increase in prices. And of course, me making sure that um, I have enough in here for extra food for us to take for lunch. And yeah, everything is looking pretty good thus far. All right, so just leave me a comment down below. How's your paycheck budget number two looking, guys? All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. And you already know, I'm going to see you later. Bye.